Hi everyone and thanks for visiting our website today. Um, with me I have Cindy Clark from Primrose Retirement Communities. I'm happy to have her here today. I wanted to provide a little bit more of a resource for folks who are trying to find out where their loved one um, uh, would need to stay based upon their care level needs and uh, this is a way I think to to make that work well so rather than just hearing it from me you're going to hear it directly from uh, Cindy and so Cindy can you please describe uh, where is Primrose located? We're located at 4212 North Point Drive um, right here in Sainsville. And if someone needs to get in contact with you, is there a phone number or email address that, that they can use? They can call 740-450-1100, um, or they can contact me directly via email at cclark at primroseretirement.com. And uh, the website, uh, I looked on the website earlier today, and I noticed that they can, there's a form they can fill out if they want to request a tour or request information. Yes, that is through our Primrose website, www.primroseretirement.com, okay. and they can say uh, whether they want to be contacted by email or by phone. Okay. And when someone comes in, um, if they're wanting to take a tour, uh, you're typically the main contact, right? I am. I do have a backup team if I happen to be out that day, but typically okay. I get to be the one. All right, all right. Now, what should someone expect when, when they come there for a visit with you? Um, what's the process for a, a tour, for example? Okay, once we've established a date and time for a tour, um, we'll just sit in my office and chit-chat like you and I are doing now, right. uh, get to know them, and the reason that they made the call or the stop at Primrose that day. Um, and then we'll go on a tour, show them around our different um, apartments and also our common areas. We have a pub, we have a wellness center, we have an um, ice cream parlor, which everybody loves. Right, right. And it also gives them a chance to meet some of the other residents and staff. Okay. Now, the way I understand it, there is, uh, you have townhome villas, independent living, and assisted living. Can you describe what those mean? Yes, our villas, um, they're located in the back of Primrose Community. Um, and they are strictly for our independent residents. Um, they are two bedroom. They have a vaulted ceiling with a fireplace. They have a four season sunroom with an attached garage. And then for those that maybe don't want to have to move again, they can uh, just take one of our independent apartments inside. Um, and then we have our assisted living apartments inside as well. Now, with, with independent living, if they wanted to have some home health care come in there to assist them, they can do that? They can do that. And then as time goes on or their acuity level changes and maybe they need more assistance, um, they don't have to necessarily move to another apartment. We can provide those services in their independent apartment. Okay, okay. Now, if someone is in the assisted living side, I understand there are different levels based upon the care they need? We have six different levels of care, um, which includes what we call activities of daily living. Mm -hmm. And that includes things that they might need assistance with, such as bathing, dressing, transferring, toileting, or medication administration. So we can help with any or all of those, just be, depending on what they need at that time. What, what type of therapy options are available as well? We have um, a company that rents a space from us that provides occupational, speech, and physical therapy, or any local home health agency can come in and provide those services as well. So if they've dealt with a company in the past, they can continue with those. Okay. Now, one of the more fun things, I guess, to talk about, too, is what social activities do you guys have available there? <laughs> and that's really the main reason a lot of people will choose to move to a community such as Primrose is for the social aspect of it. Um, but we have uh, bands that come in, we do arts and crafts, um, we do exercise programs, we go out to eat, we have a bus so we can go anywhere in Ohio. Okay. Um, sometimes we'll go gambling, okay. so it's whatever the residents are interested in doing. Well, so when someone's um, going through the tour and, and talk with you, um, if they've decided to move to Primrose, what are their expectations and what are the next steps after that? Typically, after somebody has chosen Primrose, um, you know, we'll work with establishing a moving company, 
getting a move-in date set up. We do ask that they see their primary care physician within 30 days of moving in so that we have current history um, and medical information on file. Um, and then we go from there. Okay. One thing that we do when somebody moves in, we do have a mentor program. So we assign a buddy or a friend to that new resident that helps them those first week or two get associated sure. and comfortable with Primrose, going to the dining room with somebody. Right. <laughs> well, and, and so after they've they've done all those things, um, and they'll talk to you about what price is involved for whatever type of care they need, um, how do folks typically pay for that, that cost then? Um, they can pay us just by check on a monthly basis. Um, it is private pay, or if they have a long-term care insurance policy, or some may be eligible for veterans assistance, um, even a spouse, which many of them don't realize that. This is true. This is true. Well, so um, we talked kind of how someone can, uh, you've heard the term age in place before, but it sounds like that they can stay at Primrose for a, a fairly long period of time. What happens if they need more care than Primrose is able to provide? Okay, um, with the help of home, home health agencies or hospice, a lot of times we can keep our residents till the end of their life. Um, a few things that would send up a red flag where we may need to talk about a nursing home placement would be if they get a risk of wandering because we're really concerned about safety or if they can't feed themselves or recognize an emergency situation. Okay, okay. Now, um, there are some licensing that, that you have to go through through the higher Department of, of Health, and I understand they do periodic surveys and, and, and reviews. Um, tell me about that. Yes, they come in each year and they go through all of our charts, um, medical charts, they go through food service, uh, maintenance as far as fire drills and safety things like that, and we've been open now 10 years, and for the last eight years we've been deficiency free. Okay, all right. Well, that covers the, the main questions I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, if anyone has questions or are interested in Primrose, um, please reach out to Cindy. As mentioned earlier, you can visit their, their website or give her a phone call. And you can also look at the reviews from, from current clients and past clients and get in contact with them there. So thanks again, Cindy, Thank for stopping you, by today. And uh, everyone, we'll talk to you soon. Thank thanks. you.